Hi there, and welcome to our yoga-inspired session. We're going to be using the rebounder as our surface. Again, it does provide a little bit of instability, so it just makes the holds that little bit more challenging. Please, again, only stretch as much as you can and work up to it. Don't forget, it's very important to be breathing as you go through. Before we start with the actual holds, we're going to be doing a warm-up session, which is also known as the sun salutation. So we have our rebound in front of us. We're standing to the side. And when you're ready, gently relax yourself. Make sure your feet are comfortably spaced apart, about shoulder width apart. Shoulders relaxed. And draw your hands up as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently fold forward. Use the rebounder to support. Only stretch as much as comfortable. Breathe in. Stretch the upper body and look forward. Breathe out as you go into a plank position and gently lower. Now breathe in and go back. Step forward as you breathe in. Breathe out. into the plane. Going down half. Breathe in. Stretch back. Breathe out. Step forward as you breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in as you go all the way up. And breathe out. slight variation. Breathe in. As your hands come up, go down into the chair. Breathe out. Breathe in. Raise up. Into the plank. Stretch back. And breathe out. As you breathe in, step one foot forward and raise the hands above. Breathe out as you go back into the plank. Breathe in, stretch back. Reach up into the downward dog. Breathe in as you step forward into the other side of the warrior. Step back into the plank and breathe out. Stretch back. Into the downward dog. Step forward. Half body fold. Breathe out. And all the way up. And bring your hands down. We're now going into the static holds, so we're going to hold each position for about 20 seconds. So we're going to climb aboard the rebounder, feet to shoulder width apart, and our first move we're going to raise up our hands into a prayer-like position and relax your shoulders, relax your knees, and just breathe as you go through the move. This next position is known as the chair. You're going to step on. We 
reach the hands up into the air and come down as if you're sitting in a chair. Only go down as far as comfortable. Reach the hands upwards. next move we're going to balance on one leg normally the other foot is placed up on the top of the thigh because we're on a rebounder we're going to start off with balancing the toe next to the body next to the, the leg raise your hands up if you're comfortable when you get your balance you can always lift the foot up a little bit higher let's start this way Relax it down, find your balance. And we can do the same on the other side. So we're going to very gently again find your balance. Balance very lightly on the toe, raise your hands up. And we'll begin. gently step off the rebounder. I'm going to place one foot on the rebounder in the center of the mat. Make sure your knee doesn't go over the toes. Stretch out behind you and raise the hands up. So our next move is the extended triangle. So we're going to place one foot on, come down, hold that angle to make the triangle go up in the air, and relax. As you come down, gently bend your knees, bring the arm down as you've stretched quite deeply. We'll now do the same on the other side. So we're going to place one foot on, take hold, straighten those legs and reach up. The next move is called Downward Dog. So what we're going to do first is go into the plank position, then walk your feet forward and push back as you extend the arms.
Again, bend your knees before you come up and slowly round yourself forward. We're now going to do a move that is known as the Cobra. Some variations are also known as the Upward Dog. Let's go into the plank position and then we're going to very gently tilt our body back. Now you can also fold the feet under if that's comfortable for you. And very gently fold those feet back and help yourself up. The next one is a little bit like a mountain climber. We're going to lunge one foot onto the mat. The hands are on the inside and we're going to stretch it down. And very gently again, step forward slightly as you stand up. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're going to lunge forward with the other leg. Again, our hands are on the inside and we stretch down and back. Make sure that chest is open and your shoulders are back. Relax back, gently help the foot forward and come back. The next position is known as the cat position. So we're going to kneel on the rebounder. Make sure you're comfortable and then arch your back up. Tuck your head down and don't forget to breathe. We're going to kneel on the rebounder, and this position is known as the cow posture. So again, we're kneeling, supporting on the frame, and now you tuck your whole body down, curve the spine, lift the head, shoulders back. This is the elbow plank, so we come into the plank position, but this time we're resting on our elbows. Make sure that your back is nice and straight, that your bum is not sticking in, into the air, and relax and hold. Gently drop to your knees as you stretch your body forward and stand up. From a standing position, we're going to move slightly back on the mat to give us a bit more balance. Bring the hands into the chest position and very gently squat down. Be aware of your knees in this position and just relax and hold. Your body will have the tendency with the rebounder to want to roll backwards. And relax. Again, hold the frame. Very gently roll yourself up. We're going to sit on the rebounder and gently stretch your legs out in front of you. Have your hands at your side and you're going to push your hands in, lifting the shoulders, pull them backwards as well, 
drop the head and pull the toes up towards you. sit down. Gently step onto the rebounder and sit down with one leg gently folded, tilt the other one back and the arms are at the side pushing down. out behind, shoulders back. Relax it down, help yourself back up. So now we're going to go into the reverse plank. We're going to first sit on the rebounder. Your hands are resting comfortably on. Stretch your legs back. And again, only hold this as far as comfortable. Lift your body up. Drop your head lightly back. So if you need a towel to place behind you, please have one ready for your hair. We're going to sit back. The arms are back and the legs are slightly raised. Stretch the arms and the legs. behind you for support and we're going to bring the arm the legs up when you're comfortable if you can you hold the arms at the side together and bring the hands up over the head. Straighten your back, bring your shoulders back. Very gently relax, feet to the floor and bring in and tuck in. Let's sit on the rebounder. You're going to bring your feet together in a butterfly-like pose. We're going to hold the toes and very gently lean forward. Go as far forward as comfortable. It's the chest that goes forward, not the head.
Very gently relax up your legs together. Give yourself a little squeeze. Go back. Bring your knees to your chest and just hold. Gently relax, lengthen your legs, and as you lie on the rebounder, open your arms out to your side, relax your toes, and just let the dead weight of your body drop down. Gently turn to your side, help yourself up, and we're going to just relax and breathe. 